Okay, here we are, part two, and what I did was put the radiator in the vise just to, just to give you a better understanding of, of what we have to do here. And what I do is, this is, this is actually the particular spud that was in this radiator I had out in my shop here. It wasn't the one from that old valve I showed you, but uh, again, we're going to use our imagination. Um, what I do now is that this is not going to screw out. Uh, you can, even with use of this spud wrench, it's not going to screw out because this has been welded in and you can put a wrench on here and nothing's going to happen. Trust me. Uh, been there, done that. It absolutely is not going to come out. The procedure is, what I do is I come in with my hacksaw and what I like to do is I cut this off. And what I like to do is I like to keep two or three threads, actually two or three threads beyond the radiator, keep them sticking out. I just cut this whole thing right off. I cut this, I shear it right off. And then what you end up with is just a plain end. You, you end up with two or three threads sticking out of here. Okay, so just for the sake of this demonstration, make believe we cut this collar off so we have this, this, uh, this union joint here, if you will, or the spud joint with the union cop, this is, we cut this right off, you shear it right off, get rid of it, throw it away, you're left with these threads here. What I do then is I go in with the mini hacksaw or a hacksaw blade, you're welcome to use a hacksaw blade. Um, if I'm going to use a hacksaw blade, it's probably got 24 teeth per inch on it. I'm going to use, uh, you know, a, a little hacksaw blade holding tool where you can put a single blade in there and then what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to cut this we're going to cut inside the radiator we're going to cut and we're going to cut and we're going to make a nice slit in the brass up close to the radiator but we don't want to nick the radiator again we don't want to cut the radiator we just want to cut the nipple or cut the uh, remaining part of this spud once we do that we're going to grab a caping chisel. We'll start on one side, the left side or the right side. It doesn't make a difference. Left side or right side of the cut. We're going to come in here and we're going to whack this. And we're going to whack this down on each side until that totally collapses. And when that totally collapses, it's going to end up looking something like this. You're going to have two pieces that are going to actually collapse and sometimes it'll stay together. In this case, it actually broke. It broke in half and that's going to be nice and clean in there. And then you're, you're ready to move forward and put your, your new spud in there. And your new spud is going to be like this. And we're going to take our Teflon. We're going to put our Teflon tape on here, our mega lock pipe joint compound. And at that point, we're going to tighten that with a spud wrench and that, gets tightened through use of these two little protrusions in there. If you can see these little two little uh, nibs here, if you will, that allows the spud wrench to grab on to the spud here. And what happens is it allows that to turn. So that'll just turn and screw right at the radiator valve. So we're going to screw that in. We're going to snug that up with a 14 inch wrench here. Once we get that good and snug, then we can marry the radiator back to the radiator valve like this. And sometimes you have to get them on there just right. And once that's on there, we'll get our 14 inch wrench and we're going to get in there and we're going to we're just gonna we're gonna snug that up, and you just change the radiator valve, guys. And you probably, you know, I don't know if you're gonna do it in 20 minutes, but I get them done in 20 minutes. Once this is on here, these valves belong all the way on or all the way off. These are nut valves to control the amount of heat coming into the radiator. They're basically service valves. You don't want to leave these halfway open or halfway closed because you're gonna trap water when the steam condenses, uh, and then it's not gonna be able to get back to the steam system. So again, just to review. We're going to shut the steam off. We're going to start by making a cut on our valve, diagonal cut, either right or left, whatever the case may be. Once we do that, we're going to go in there with our cold chisel. 
we're going to pop that. So we pop the valve. We'll proceed to the collar. We'll try with a wrench. That doesn't work. We're going to come in and we are going to get our hacksaw. We are going to make diagonal cut here. Once we get that cut all the way down, we're going to come back with our cold chisel. We are going to pop this baby and that's going to pop right off. Next thing we're going to do is come in with our hacksaw. We're going to shear off the spud, leave two or three threads sticking out. After we got that done, we go in there with our hacksaw blade or our mini hacksaw. We're going to proceed to, to make a cut on the inside. Then we'll get our caping chisels and collapse this, get our new spud prepared, screw that into the radiator, marry the two together, and you're done, guys. That's it. Very, very simple. Uh, the last thing you don't want to do is try to take these off with a wrench, with a breaker bar, with some leverage, because I can tell you that you're going to break the thing under the floor and you're going to have a very big plumbing job on your hands. And I know you don't want to do that because you don't want to call guys like me in to, to make a repair like that. Guys, I want to thank you for stopping by bobsplumbingvideos.com. I enjoy you coming by. I hope you're enjoying the stuff. I hope you're getting some useful information out of it. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. And as I always say, happy plumbing. Take care.